Welcome back to another video guys, TechLift here. Today I'm gonna be talking about whether or not a coding bootcamp is worth it. And my personal experience, this is gonna be part one of maybe a multiple series video. So if there are multiple parts, check out the description for the rest of them. I'm gonna be going over why I decided to go to a coding bootcamp, how my experience was, and whether or not I think it's worth it. So again, I'm gonna break this up into different parts. It's not really planned or anything. I'm just going off of how I feel my experiences. And yeah, if this is something that interests you, stick around hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys considering this is tech related and my videos are directed toward tech i figured it'd only be appropriate since people were dming me on twitter and instagram just finding me on social media and asking me about you know which one i went to whether or not i thought it was worth it what languages they thought they should go i figured why not just make an entire video dedicated to this topic considering people were going all the way to find me and ask me these questions so let's go ahead and get straight into it so right off the bat, guys, I was coming from a personal training background. I was personal training remotely for about three and a half years at the beginning of 2022, around February. I knew that I was going to be making a pivot more toward traditional jobs, I guess you could say, just because I gave myself a certain time limit on making my business run and work. And I pretty much did that. But what made me pivot was the fact that one of my social media channels got taken down. I had to start pivoting and figuring out ways I can just start from the ground up again. I knew that I would needed to make a pivot and get somewhat of a regular day job. And if I wanted to continue to do this, I would, you know, do personal training. But quite frankly, I'm not going to be doing it anymore just because it was sucking the love and fun out of fitness and, you know, just training in general for me, fighting to survive and make money off of my passion. So I'm selfishly keeping that to myself. If you guys want advice and stuff, head over to my fitness channel. I'm still going to be making content and stuff just because I've realized that I am a creative person. It fills my creative cup making content around things that interest me. So don't worry, that's not going anywhere and especially tech stuff it's not going anywhere and now that you guys know what i've been doing since february that's why i have not been uploading any videos i was literally just dedicated to learning how to code this coding boot camp this curriculum and that should speak for itself guys coming from a completely different industry going into web development learning how to code that should speak for itself the fact that i had to literally drop everything and solely focus on this literally that's all you need to know like you have to be fully dedicated if you want to learn something like code if you want to be a web developer, email developer, uh, software engineer, all those types of terms. If you want to, you know, make the design on the websites, if you want to, you know, do more of the back end stuff, which makes everything run, you really have to be dedicated and you have to really know that for maybe four to six months, eh, realistically six to eight months, your life is going to be nothing besides code. And that's what my life was. I literally maybe did two trips during the weekends that I didn't have much going on. And by much going on, I'm talking like, like I had maybe four to six hours worth of studying to do. And I considered that not much going on. And the way I did that was I spread those four to six hours that I would have been doing on Saturday, Sunday into my week. So that week that I had something coming up on that weekend, I literally did an extra two hours of studying and work throughout the week to make up for that time that I was not going to be doing anything on the weekend. And that's also why I only did like two weekend trips that entire time I was in the boot camp. You literally have to live and breathe this. I know some people were doing doing it part time and we're still working full time jobs. I quite frankly don't know how they did it. Honestly, it's doable, but it would just take you a little bit longer, right? I know a ton of people that I went to my cohort with that literally dropped their full time jobs. They saved up money and literally only focused on this boot camp. That's the route that I went. I had like my savings saved up that I lived off of. I literally was not doing any personal training besides maybe one or two clients. And I was just getting money sporadically from different places, but literally my savings is what made me, you know, survive vibe and go throughout that whole boot camp time because I was literally dedicated to this literally from early morning to maybe eight or nine at night sometimes honestly I remember some nights but it was like 10 o'clock at night and just literally learning this and dedicating myself fully to this and that's literally how I learned how to make YouTube videos how to edit videos I just fully immersed myself and I knew I had to take that same approach to web development um, is literally just full immersion and with that leads me to my next point why didn't I just go the self-taught route etc this was something totally new and it was definitely a lot more intricate than just learning how to edit videos and shoot videos that's pretty intricate itself but it was you know teachable with YouTube and doing whereas this it, it's a little bit deeper and you need someone to tell you you know all these little mistakes you can watch tutorials on YouTube and you'll still mess up and you'll still don't know what the heck is going on so I for about a month went the self-taught route just kind of dipped my toes into web development and coding and was like basically just wondering if this was gonna be a thing for me if it was gonna be even possible if I even was 
gonna like it. And uh, I realized after about two weeks that I really was enjoyed doing this stuff and that I could see myself working in this industry and making a career out of this. So I knew that I needed guidance. I needed a specific track and that's perfect for coding boot camps, you know, going to school route. I knew that I didn't have four years to go get a computer science degree. I knew that if I dedicated myself that I could learn it literally by just not stopping and that I needed someone to guide me and say, hey, you're on the right track. Hey, do this, do that. Hey, if you want to land a job as a front end web developer, this is how you get there basically by breaking it down into smaller steps, learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you know, learning all the syntax and just the language in general, the environment that you code in, literally the ins and outs of coding. I needed that step by step guidance and the coding bootcamp literally gave me that. Now to say that coding bootcamps are not cheap. They are expensive, but to me, it was worth it. To me, it was an investment in myself, an investment in my future and career long term it was an investment in being able to continue to make youtube videos and i knew that spending this amount of money which was not cheap it was not a little amount of money was going to be worth it in the long run especially knowing that i was going to be able to learn this skill to land a job afterward and you know a skill that's invaluable in this industry right now so i knew that that investment to me was going to be worth it you know the step-by-step -step guidance knowing that i'm on the right track having that reassurance of hey you're doing good you know don't get in your head type of deal and just having that guidance. That was the most important thing for me was the guidance, the knowing that I'm doing the right things, the, hey, I'm doing this wrong. What do I do better? How can I approach this differently? And literally I was in there, you know, the office hours, after hours for three to four hours, maybe two to three times a week. Honestly, sometimes at least every day I would just go in there and hang out, but actively like asking questions and engaging, I was probably in there maybe two to three hours a week after the lectures and after my own self-taught, you know, going through the curriculum. So I was maybe be doing six to eight hours of going through curriculum on my own two to three hour lectures two to three times a week I believe and then on top of that it was an extra two to three hours of being in the office hours and working with TAs on questions on my projects different things like that I fully immersed myself in this I lived and breathed it and honestly it was an emotional roller coaster on top of that I loved it like I literally love the fact that you can press a button and it jacks everything up and you can press a button and your website whatever you're building looks beautiful and it works reminded me a lot of video video editing and just this whole creative process how you can literally see things happening in real time and uh, it's just super cool whenever you can make things work and uh, you know growing up I've always built websites uh, you know on Wix, Squarespace, Shopify that sort of thing and I've always wondered about code I never really thought that I could do it because I suck at math and all that sort of you know stereotypical jazz but I did it I made it through and um, this is going to be an introductory video I don't want it to drag on but literally if you're here for the gist of it is a coding boot camp worth it. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you straight up right now that for me personally, it is. And my background's non-traditional. I've never really had a technical role before. I literally have always been in a relationship management type of position before, even with personal training for my own business, you know, working with different types of people, sales, that sort of thing. I did do IT in college, but that was still just very much dealing with people a lot of the time and just doing very minor technical things. Don't get me wrong. I'm a very tech savvy person as you can tell I make YouTube videos learn how to use a camera all these sorts of things but honestly that just comes from me being dedicated to my own word and just going all in and that's literally what I did to learn this web development and this coding boot camp literally you just have to dedicate the time dedicate the hours and it will pay off for you if this is something that you want to learn that you want to make a career transition in like look at me I'm going from personal training into tech into software engineering and I made it through that boot camp I feel confident in the skills that I gained from it and honestly for me, it was 110% worth it. I'm still learning to this day. I feel like it's a career industry that you won't ever stop learning from, but a coding bootcamp literally gets you doing it. It gets you that experience. It gets you the familiarity with the environment, what type of computer you need, the softwares, the all the basics and intermediate levels. You can even get pretty advanced in a coding bootcamp. If you want to go above and beyond, they do offer extra, you know, assignments and different things like that. But the coding bootcamp for me was like that one stepping stone it's going to be able to get me a job and on top of that like I can continue to learn on my own continue to develop my skill sets etc so for me a coding boot camp was 110% worth it I am in tech currently and I feel like the coding boot camp was a stepping stone to that now again started in February it's literally November I started October 31st in my new job in tech and as you guys can see it didn't happen overnight I went MIA from this YouTube channel why because I was dedicated to learning this skill 
set to learning how to basically just to, to reach the goal of landing a job in tech. That was the ultimate goal. I literally put blinders on and that was the one freaking goal. Made it through that boot camp. Literally got my money's worth. I made sure I got my money's worth from that boot camp. And I'm still using resources from the boot camp till today. Made a great network of people. I always see them on LinkedIn getting jobs or congratulating each other, etc. And literally for me, that's what it did. It got me a job in, in tech. And uh, that'll be a whole nother separate video. But I will say that I am in tech. And I feel like the boot camp got me into tech. And I will say this, that it got me a better opportunity from what I was making financially as a personal trainer, as well as other jobs that I've had in a kind of a technical role. And uh, just that's just tech. And I knew that I want to go into tech. I knew that the coding boot camp was going to be that stepping stone for me. And that's what it did for me. And I feel like it already it's paid off. Now, should you go to it? Honestly, I think the first step in finding out whether a coding boot camp is right for you is to watch some YouTube videos, watch a couple day in the lives, watch a couple, you know, pros and cons videos. I watched so many of those before I even decided to go to the boot camp. I was doing, you know, freecodecamp.org, the free coding websites. And then I was like, okay, I like this. I think I can do this. I literally was just watching YouTube videos every morning on my walk. At the moment, I was doing a mental toughness program called 75 hard. You had to do two 45 minute workouts. One had to be outside, one had to be indoors. And for my second one, I decided to do a 45 minute walk every morning in the middle of winter during February. And I remember just walking in the snow, maybe a foot or two of snow. I'm just listening to YouTube videos on, you know, coding boot camps and, uh, you know, software engineer tips and what language I just fully immersed myself. That's when I knew I was like, okay, the coding boot camp route is going to be the route for me. And that's what led me there. That's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Is it worth it? To me, it was just analyze your current situation, your skills, your abilities, and just see if you can actually dedicate yourself to it. And that's how I'd make the decision. Now, again, this is going to be part one. This is going to be a multi-part video series. So go ahead and stick around, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, guys. If you have further questions, drop them in the comments. I'm going to finish the year strong this year with my content creation now that I'm settled into my new role in tech. So this is just fun for me. This is like literally filling that creative void that I was missing during this whole time that I was MIA. So I will be back. I will be making more videos and answering your questions. So drop any questions in the comments, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tech Lift out.